Hi. Um, I just wanted to make a video about uh, Destiny, the group that I'm involved with, and um, I guess uh, I just recently saw some anti-Destiny videos, which I hadn't really seen or been exposed to much of that before, um, but I guess it's important when people go on and make videos uh, against something, it's important for the group to clarify what it is that they're doing and for the person to clarify what it is that they're against. Um, so I watched these videos and I noticed that uh, the people making the videos were pretty wrong about what it was that they were opining about. Um, they, they didn't have accurate information. So for me, this discredits them right off the bat. I mean, I can tell that they probably just looked briefly at the, the group, the Destiny website maybe, or some of the, the um, Destonian videos, and uh, really, I mean, a shallow look, because the amount of information that was wrong that they were presenting and they were forming opinions on was, I mean, almost 100% of what they were saying. So when I saw that, when I watched their video, to me, that really relates to um, ignorance and hate. And it's really the basis of, of ignorance and hate, to make an opinion on something that you don't really know about or you don't understand, to fear something that you don't understand, is the basis of ignorance and hate. I mean, that's what racism and, um, you know, uh, not accepting homosexuals, I forget the word, is there a word for that? Homophobic. Being homophobic and uh, being racist are the two main examples of being, of fearing something that you don't understand or generalizing a group of people um, that you are unfamiliar with and maybe probably feel threatened by. Um, so, I don't know, I've never been... Um, I never got into light working. I don't really know much about it, and I, therefore I'm, I don't have an opinion about it. And I'm not going to say anything about light working or about people who choose to be light workers. The only thing that I'm concerned with in this world is stopping suffering and abuse, stopping starvation, stopping animal abuse. This is what I care about. And for me, um, the way to stop this is through financial means which also includes political, democratic means. But the way I look at it is, if you're, I mean, the, the suffering in this world is, can be pretty far away from us here in the Western world or any country that, you know, where people are doing okay. Um, so I imagine that you are surrounded by, it, uh, let's say, starvation. And um, for me, the solution, I mean, why I choose to uh, be a part of Destiny is because the solution that they propose is practical. It's financial. If you give a group of starving people money, they can then feed themselves. Um, as far as I can see, sending out positive vibes or, any, or something like that is not going to do m much. I mean, there's no proof wherein there is proof of giving people a means to buy their existence in this world. There's proof in the common sense of it. Um, give people money to buy food and they can eat. And there's proof in the Namibia, um, the basic income grant project, which you can look out, look up at, um, it's, you know, B-I-G, just Google it, in Namibia, uh, Namibia, and uh, it was a pilot project which gave everybody a basic income and see how that affected people. Then that was an immediate effect where it improved their lives. And children uh, who used to wake up in the morning and not eat anything and go to bed at night having not eaten anything 
all of a sudden had meals and went to school and went to the clinic. I mean, this is what money does in this world. This is what money buys. And this is what destiny is proposing we make available to everybody. So um, maybe, you know, I'm not even going to say maybe I'm brainwashed because I'm not. Because I can see practical common sense in a solution, and I can see a solution, you know, solutions that don't offer practical common sense are, are solutions that I, I, I have to disregard because, you know, they're a waste of time. I mean, unless you can have some kind of measurable proof or some kind of immediate effect, how do you know it's, it's true? Why don't you go with what you know is true? Why don't we wait till everybody is fed before we start experimenting with vibes? Because right now we can't waste this kind of time hoping that this is a solution. Because just because we are not the ones starving and we are not the ones who are desperate, it doesn't mean we've got all this time to kill while we sit around and wait to become that. Because with the way things are going, that future is not unimaginable. Um, yeah. So, I joined Destiny because, yes, I did want to make a change. And, yes... There are other avenues that are presented to us. Destiny is not the only avenue for people who want to make a change to turn to. Uh, I used to volunteer at animal shelters, and I worked with disabled people, and I worked with elderly people because I wanted to make a difference in the world. I tried other things, and the problem in all these areas was no money. There was not enough money to housed the animals, therefore they had to be put down. There was not enough money to treat the sick animals, therefore they had to be put down. There was not enough money to train the violent animals, therefore they had to be put down. There was not enough money to support the family of the girl, the disabled girl who I worked with, for them to give her the proper treatment that she needed. There was not enough money for them to give her the therapy that she needed. There was not enough money to feed the seniors the proper nutrition that they needed. There was not enough money to, you know, give the seniors proper activities and socializing to make their lives have a little quality. So destiny isn't the only avenue you can turn to if you want to make a change in the world, but it kind of is because when I tried all those avenues, I realized that as an individual... I can't do much of anything except for maybe have a nice impact on a few animals or a few people. But that's not enough. The solution has to involve everybody. It has to include all of life. And that's what Destiny is proposing. It's a monetary system that includes all of life, that feeds every person. And humans, as the custodians of the earth, need to be able to afford to take care of the earth you can't afford to, you're, you're going to abuse it the way we do now because the only people who can, af who can afford sustainable uh, solutions or green living are the, the very wealthy. And what's their motivation? If they're the only ones who can afford to do it, why should they do it? Because the rest of us are just going to abuse what they're spending all their money on trying to save. It's the tragedy of the commons. So... Um, that's why I choose Destiny. That's why Destiny is doing what it's doing. And anybody who's against that is not proposing anything that's worth anybody's time because they're not proposing anything real. Destiny makes clear statements. Destiny explains why they're doing what they're doing. And if you're going to make an opinion about Destiny... You better do a little more research and look into it because I, I mean, if you're going to make a, an argument about the equal money system, first be able to describe what it is and what it does. And if you're going to claim destiny, destiny, 
uh, Destonians do certain things, give examples, you know, show us that you looked into it and didn't just sweep over the information and make ignorant um, opinions on things that you don't know about. So I guess that's all I have to say right now. Thank you.